Sir William Henry Bragg on KBEPRS was a British physicist, chemist, mathematician and active sportsman who uniquely shared a Nobel Prize with his son William Lawrence Bragg, the 1915 Nobel Prize in Physics, for their services in the analysis of crystal structure by means of X-rays. The mineral Braggata is named after him and his son. He was knighted in 1920. Biography Early years Bragg was born at Westwood near Wigton, Cumberland, the son of Robert John Bragg, a merchant marine officer and farmer, and his wife Mary Enya Q.T. Wood, a clergyman's daughter. When Bragg was seven years old, his mother died, and he was raised by his uncle, also named William Bragg, at Market Harborough, Leicestershire. He was educated at the Old Grammar School there, at King William's College on the Isle of Man and, having won an exhibition, at Trinity College, Cambridge. He graduated in 1884 as third wrangler, and in 1885 was awarded a first-class honours in the Mathematical Tripos, University of Adelaide in 1885, at the age of 23. Bragg was appointed Elder Professor of Mathematics and Experimental Physics in the University of Adelaide, and started work there early in 1886. Being a skilled mathematician, at that time he had limited knowledge of physics, most of which was in the form of applied mathematics he had learnt at Trinity. Also at that time, there were only about a hundred students doing full courses at Adelaide of whom less than a handful belonged to the science school, whose deficient teaching facilities Bragg improved by apprenticing himself to a firm of instrument makers. Bragg was an able and popular lecturer. He encouraged the formation of the student union and the attendance, free of charge, of science teachers at his lectures. Bragg's interest in physics developed, particularly in the field of electromagnetism. In 1895 he was visited by Ernest Rutherford, en route from New Zealand to Cambridge. This was the commencement of a lifelong friendship. Bragg gave a public demonstration of Marconi's wireless in 1897. The turning point in Bragg's career came in 1904 when he gave the presidential address to Section A of the Australasian Association for the Advancement of Science at Dunedin, New Zealand, on some recent advances in the theory of the ionization of gases. The idea was followed up in a brilliant series of researches, which within three years earned him a fellowship of the Royal Society of London. This paper was also the origin of his first book studies in radioactivity. Soon after the delivery of his 1904 address, some radium bromide was made available to Bragg for experimentation. In December 1904 his paper, on the absorption of alpha rays and on the classification of the alpha rays from radium, appeared in the Philosophical magazine, and in the same issue of paper, on the ionization curves of radium, written in collaboration with his student Richard Kleeman, also appeared. At the end of 1908 Bragg returned to England. During his 23 years in Australia, he had seen the number of students at the University of Adelaide almost quadruple, and had a full share in the development of its excellent science school. Whilst in Adelaide, Bragg played tennis and golf, and as a founding member of the North Adelaide and Adelaide University Lacrosse Clubs contributed to the introduction of lacrosse to South Australia and was also the secretary of the Adelaide University Chess Association. He also met Gwendolyn Enyacute he Todd, a skilled watercolour painter, whom he married in 1889. Their first son, William Lawrence, was born in North Adelaide in 1890 and he taught him at the University of Adelaide. University of Leeds Bragg occupied the Cavendish Chair of Physics in the University of Leeds from 1909. He continued his work on X-rays with much success. He invented the X-ray spectrometer and with his son, William Lawrence Bragg, then a research student at Cambridge, 
founded the new science of X-ray crystallography, the analysis of crystal structure or using X-ray diffraction. From 1914, both father and son contributed to the war effort. W.H. Bragg was connected with submarine detection, at Abador on 4th and at Harwich, and returned to London in 1918 as a consultant to the Admiralty. In 1915 father and son were jointly awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics for their studies, using the X-ray spectrometer, of X-ray spectra, X-ray diffraction, and of crystal structure. Ten years later, their volume 10 rays and crystal structure had reached a fifth edition. University College London Bragg was appointed Quain Professor of Physics at University College London in 1915 but did not take up his duties there until after World War I. While Quain Professor at London he continued his work on crystal analysis. Royal Institution from 1923 he was Fullerian Professor of Chemistry at the Royal Institution and Director of the Davy Faraday Research Laboratory. This institution was practically rebuilt in 1929-30 and, under Bragg's directorship, many valuable papers were issued from the laboratory. In 1919, 1923 and 1925 he was invited to deliver the Royal Institution Christmas Lecture on the World of Sound, concerning the nature of things and old trades, and new knowledge respectively. Legacy Bragg was elected Fellow of the Royal Society in 1907, Vice President in 1920, and served as President of the Royal Society from 1935 to 1940. The Lecture Theatre of King Williams College is named in memory of Bragg, the sixth form Invitational Literary Debating Society at KWC. The Bragg Society is also named in his memory. One of the school houses at Robert Smith School, Market Harborough, Leicester, is named Bragg in memory of him being a student there. Since 1992, the Australian Institute of Physics has awarded the Bragg Gold Medal for Excellence in Physics for the best PhD thesis by a student at an Australian university. The two sides of the medal contain the images of Sir William Henry and his son Sir William Lawrence Bragg. In 1889 in Adelaide, W.H. Bragg married Gwendolyn Todd, a skilled watercolor painter, and daughter of astronomers, meteorologist and electrical engineer Sir Charles Todd. They had three children, a daughter, Gwendolyn and two sons, Lawrence and Robert. Robert was killed in the Battle of Gallipoli. W.H.'s wife Gwendolyn died in 1929. W.H. Bragg died in 1942 in England and was survived by his daughter Gwendolyn and his son, Sir William Lawrence Bragg. William H. Bragg was appointed Commander of the Order of the British Empire in 1917 and Knight Commander in 1920. He was admitted to the Order of Merit in 1931. The Experimental Technique Center at Brunel University is named the Bragg Building. In 1962, the Bragg Laboratories were constructed at the University of Adelaide to commemorate 100 years since the birth of Sir William H. Bragg. Timeline 1862 – Born in Cumberland 1869 – Moved to Leicestershire 1875 – School on the Isle of Man 1881 to 1885 – Trinity College, Cambridge – Student 1886 to 1908 – University of Adelaide – Elder Professor of Mathematics and Experimental Physics 1889 – Married Gwendolyn Todd in Adelaide 1890 – William Lawrence Bragg born in Adelaide 1904 – President of Section A of the Australasian Association for the Advancement of Science 1908 – President of the Australasian Association for the Advancement of Science 1909 – 1909-15 – University of Leeds Cavendish Professor of Physics 1915 – Won the Nobel Prize in Physics with his son 1915-23 University College London, Quain Professor of Physics, 
Royal Institution for Lurian Professor of Chemistry Director of the Davy Faraday Research Laboratory in 1919, 1923, 1925 he was invited to deliver the Royal Institution Christmas Lecture on the World of Sound, concerning the nature of things and old trades and new knowledge respectively. 1942 died in London. Prizes. Nobel Prize. Matucci Medal, Rumford Medal, Copley Medal, Franklin Medal, John J. Carty Award of the National Academy of Sciences. Publications. William Henry Bragg, The World of Sound, William Henry Bragg, The Crystalline State, The Romains Lecture for 1925, Oxford, 1925, William Henry Bragg, Concerning the Nature of Things, William Henry Bragg, Old Trades and New Knowledge, William Henry Bragg, An Introduction to Crystal Analysis, William Henry Bragg, The Universe of Light, 